Hello, everybody, and welcome back to McKegg's Movie Mayhem in association with WBBJ7 Eyewitness News. I'm your host, Elon McKegg, and today I'm going to be doing the movie review for Violent Night. Come on. Which one of you did that? Prancer? <laughs> so unprofessional. Now, Violent Night is the newest Christmas film for this new season of December. It is also an action film. Think a little bit like Die Hard, but a little bit more leaning into the Christmas spirit. Starring David Harbour as Santa Claus. And the entire point of the movie is John Leguizamo's character Scrooge, haha, -ha, is invading this very rich home with his team of mercenaries. And the entire point is for them to rob the rich family. And Santa happens to be there, so Santa is saving the day. And I know that's a very basic plot, but I have to say, even with the basic premise there, this movie is a lot of fun. There are a lot of people that have been saying that it is Die Hard meets Home Alone. And I, I, it's very true. When we get to the moment where there is a lot of Home Alone stuff, that's when I'm just thinking to myself, man, this is very much what would happen if Home Alone was real and not as cartoonish as the Home Alone movie. And that's and that was what was fun about the movie. They took a lot of stuff that would be a little cartoonish and they brought them to a real thing. And it was just a lot of fun. Even the cartoony things that still stayed a little bit cartoony, they were also a lot of fun. And David Harbour in this film was so great as Santa. He was a great Santa, literally to the point where I, and again, I don't know if this is me just looking too much of my David Harbour bias, because I love David Harbour. David Harbour is great in almost everything he is in. And I have to say, like, David Harbour as Santa is probably one of my favorite interpretations of Santa Claus. Again, it could just be my love for David Harbour, and I don't care. He was great as Santa. Like, this version of Santa is sort of a sassier version of Santa Claus, sort of like if you wrote a sassy Santa for grown-ups, that's the type of Santa this is. Not like the Tim Allen version, which was a sassy Santa written for kids. That was sort of the separation for me. And Tim Allen, Santa Claus, for the longest time was my favorite Santa. But David Harbour very much beat him out of the punch. And then John Leguizamo's main antagonist, Scrooge, was also such a great counterpoint to the version of Santa that we got in this film. Because his version, or... John Leguizamo Scrooge is very much a character that was um, ruined by Christmas, and so he hates the holiday. And that was very much the entire point of why he hated Santa so much. But the entire point of the movie was also people not believing that David Harbour Santa was the actual Santa Claus. And that was such a great dynamic when people started realizing that David Harbour was the actual Santa Claus. And the again, the acting between David Harbour and John Leguizamo was so much fun. And then there is a little girl who played the character of Trudy. I can't remember her name for the life of me, her real name for the life of me right now. But she was so great in that role of sort of the, the child that still believes in Santa. She very much fit that role, and she had a lot of fun with it as well. I'd have to say some of the negatives is the plot is very much a basic plot, but even though it is a basic plot, I don't mind the very like straightforwardness of the plot. I think other people may have a problem with it, but I honestly don't. I think also some people may be thrown back because they show a little bit of Santa's backstory and his origin story, at least this version of Santa's origin. So I think some people may not like that version of his origin story. And also there are a great handful of characters that are just caricatures and sort of over the top they have an over-the-top performance in terms of how they portray their characters. And that, for me, was a little annoying at most of the times when those specific characters popped up. If you go watch the movie, you'll know exactly what characters I'm talking about. But overall, this is a fun movie. I love the direction of the movie. I love the action. They really knew how to direct the action in this movie. David Harbour was great. John Leguizamo was great. I think, honestly, those two alone, like outweigh all the negative or all the other plot negatives that you may have with the base again with the simple simplistic plot overall i give this movie a three and a half out of five stars a seven out of ten next week i am doing a disney movie because next week i'm going to be doing the movie review for strange world but until then i've been eli mckeg with wbbj7 eyewitness news and i hope you all remember to watch movies